Okay, before I start today's launch box and Xenia Xbox 360 emulator setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation setup guides like this one you're watching today. Helps my channel out a lot, plus you get notified every time I release a new video. So we're looking at launch box front end today and how to set up Xbox 360. So the emulator we're going to be using for this is Xenia Canary and of course there's the normal Xenia but in most cases Xenia Canary is actually better so I'm going to leave the link in my description for Xenia Canary and this one actually released three hours ago as a recording this video so if we just go to this link here xeniacanary.zip and just download that and whilst I'm thinking about it launchbox front end itself has just had a new update so the version I'm using for this setup guide today is the latest one so once you've downloaded Xenia Canary, you're going to download a zip folder. And what we're going to do with this is just open it up and you're going to find inside a license file and the actual executable itself. So on my desktop, I'm going to right click new folder and I'm going to call this Xenia. And what I'm going to do is just drag both of these files out and pop them into that Xenia folder. So now those have been extracted, I can actually now delete that zip folder. We no longer need this one. So what I'm going to do next is just create another new folder and I'm going to call this one Xbox 360 and I'm going to just drag in my Project Gotham Racing 3 into that folder. Next up, I'm going to open up Launchbox. Okay, what I'm going to do first of all, once we're inside the launch box, is just close down this window. And I'm going to go to tools at the top left, go to import ROM files. And on the import ROMs from files wizard, I'm just going to press next on this. Select the files to import. So this is going to ask us for our games, where it can locate them. So add folder. And my Xbox 360 folder is of course on my desktop, where I've just dragged in my project Gotham Racing 3 game. So I just need to find that folder, which is just here. If I just left click on this one so it's highlighted, I'm going to go to select folder and then go to next. What platform are you importing games for? So of course Microsoft Xbox 360 comes up. If this doesn't come up, you can just type this in as Microsoft Xbox 360. And there we have it. So you also want to make sure that show default platforms is checked. And if we go to next, choose an emulator. So what we need to do just here is link this up to where Xenia Canary is located. So what I'm going to do is go to add. So under emulator name, you should see Xenia already. So what we need to do next is just go down to application path. And if I press on browse, we then need to locate that emulator, which is of course Xenia Canary is on my desktop. And I'm going to just look for my Xenia folder. And here it is. If I double left click on there, I need to double left click on the executable, the emulator itself. And here we go. So next thing I need to do from here is just press OK. And if I press next, next part you're going to see is if you want Launchbox to relocate your game files. If you want to relocate them to somewhere else, you've got a choice just here at the top too. I'm going to just leave my game where it is, which is on my desktop. So I'm going to choose the bottom option, use the files in their current location, just left click. Would you like to download metadata for your games? Just make sure this is checked. What this is going to do is gather information for your Xbox 360 games and it's going to give us a little bit of backstory and other pieces of information about our game once we get into Launchbox. If I press next on this, now the next part of this is really ideal if you're planning on using Big Box, which is the premium version of Launchbox, which I totally recommend, I use it myself. If you don't plan on using Big Box, then you don't really necessarily need to check all of these just there. They're gonna hog up your hard drive space and you don't really need them. If you are using Big Box, just do what I do and select everything providing you've got enough space on your hard drive. Just press next. And again, this next part, MU Movies, is pretty much for people using Big Box, which is obviously the main part of what you're paying for. So this is going to give you preview videos, that type of thing. I use MU Movies and it's a few dollars a month and I highly recommend it. If you don't want to use it, then just go to next. 
And then next again. And here is my game. Launchbox is now ready to import my Xbox 360 game. So I'm going to press finish. Right at the top, you're going to see refreshing local metadata. And what this is doing is gathering information from the Launchbox games database. And once this game is imported, we're going to see a wealth of information as well with some images pop up on the side. And here we go, we've now successfully imported the Xbox 360 game. And if I go up to image group, I'm going to just go down to clear logos. And there we go, it looks pretty cool. So what I'm going to do next is actually play this game to test it out to see if Xenio is actually linked up correctly. So if I right click on the game, I can go to play or launch with Xenia. If I left click, So as you can see, everything's working perfect, but we don't have a full screen. So the way around this is if we just close, I'm going to just go up to tools, manage, emulators. And if I select Xenia and just go down to edit, and I'm going to make sure I'm on details and we're going to find default command line parameters. I'm going to just type in minus minus and full screen. And if I then go down to press OK and close, if I go to boot up my game again. And that's it for today's launch box in Xenia Xbox 360 emulator setup guide. But anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.